So this video demonstrates the protocol for carcass collection and this protocol is actually part of the larger protocol for carcass surveys. And so what you'll see in this video is a field worker finding a pretend bird carcass and how the bird carcass is processed. The most important thing maybe to take home from this video is how field workers should not directly touch uh, bird carcasses and you'll see with the use of Ziploc bags that um, the field workers won't have to ever directly touch bird carcasses and then there's a little bit of paperwork that's going to be shown as well. Uh, the video is not going to have any text either and so I'll just be narrating uh, periodically throughout the video. Uh, you'll probably have some moments of silence but here you have a field worker finding a carcass during a carcass survey and you can see the field worker taking a Ziploc bag out inverting the bag and then using that to position the carcass so that three pictures can be taken and this first picture is showing how the field worker positioned the body on the lateral side for a, I should say for a lateral picture and now using the uh, the, the bag as a glove positioning the body so the second picture can be taken of the front of the body or the ventral part of the body uh, which is the throat and the belly and then the third picture that the field worker needs to take is not one of the hindquarters necessarily but definitely of the dorsal part of the body so that the back of the head and the back and the tail is shown in the picture after that, the carcass is picked up and grabbed and reinverted back in the original position. And this is the, the bag that the carcass basically stays in. Then the field worker should take out their clipboard or their binder that has the body identification tags. And the field worker is filling out one of those tags, it's kind of hard to see, there we are zooming in. Uh, this is sort of a, a, a form that contains a whole bunch of sort of narrow body carcass ID tags. Field workers should carry around scissors and what they'll do is they'll simply cut out that filled out tag And there's just a little bit more trimming for a tag that's on the very bottom of the, the sheet. And you can create these. In fact, we've put up on the website a, uh, a document that, that has these body ID tags already completed on it. So the body ID tag is completed. The second bag is taken, taken out. The bird carcass is placed in there and then the ID tag is placed on the outside of the bird carcass bag and now you can see the the carcass is double bagged it's completely contained and then field workers will, will carry that around with them until they complete surveys now the only thing oh I guess one last thing to, to for field workers to complete is the the data sheet where they write down a general description of the bird or if they know the bird species already uh, they just indicate that what side of the building the bird was found on maybe some other general information and that does it about the only thing that's missing from this video is that field workers should carry around those double bagged carcasses in plastic grocery bags I hope this video was helpful in showing you and field workers how to process a carcass that's collected out in the field. Thanks.